Welcome to the Arkham Files, an actual play Call of Cthulhu RPG podcast. Featuring Seth Morrison as Tallahassee Turner. Say, hey, Billy, let's run out in the forest together. That worked out for me really well last time. Abel Morrison as Detective Billy McConnell. You've seen what we've seen. That dead light and the butthole monster. Donovan Bollard as Dr. Simeon Can't Stand Your Bits. What in the world? Where did you find that? Peter Morrison as Dominic Drunkard. We did establish there's no flamethrower, which is a crying shame. Sam Morrison as Major Frederick Aloysius Bakersfield. As soon as the going gets tough, the Tallahassee gets going. And I am your game master, the keeper of arcane lore, Alex Morrison. Now grab onto some dice and your sanity. Let's roll. Okay, so you see, uh, yeah, you guys see like Constable Dawkins and uh, and Goodman Gray. They they kind of start talking amongst themselves. You see a couple more men uh, dressed in suits. You know, they look kind of like your typical city uh, uh, goons. Come strolling up. Uh, look, one of them is the driver uh, from from Motley Hill. That was the driver that was with Goodman Gray out there. They, they come talking amongst themselves. Uh, the mayor's still just kind of standing there, just shaking. Uh, uh, I, got, I believe you've spoken enough and told enough, mayor. Maybe for now. I was uh, no, I, I wasn't a, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna tell him anything. All right, what do you guys do? I'm gonna drive the truck over to Denny's. Okay. So, we so can are you guys all heading down over gear. to Denny's? Yeah. Yeah. Does it? Who? Tallahassee. Were you gonna take all the pe- uh, the the vulnerable up to? I guess we're all vulnerable, but the young uh, up to the to, to the Isn't lab. Tallahassee better served fighting. Yeah. Why would we send all diamonds? Uh, well, because if, if they get attacked up at the cemetery, he's got the best chance of surviving. I don't think so. I think our only bet is if they don't know they're there and they come after us well that's the thing if we're splitting up two groups of people we need to have them lured toward uh denny's only all right i'll, I'll take the, the women and children why don't we just send a townsperson to take the women and children sounds good to me hey goodman gray goodman gray yes you seem to have the most experience with these things with these creatures do you do you think they can get into that that lab up there I don't know what lab you're speaking of. Yeah, you do. We saw you your car up there. You liar! I, Come on. No, I don't. We actually we never discovered it. This is why it took us so long to find the creatures. We sent men up here weeks ago. None of them ever reported back. Well, why did we find people in suits inside? Like, Well, yeah. those were the men we sent weeks ago that never reported back. Crap. This is my first... That experience we just had up at the Motley Hill was my first exposure to them also. How about you, May? Have you, did you know about the the lab? I knew that the uh, I knew there was uh, that Corbett and 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 Shep had some a place they were working out of, but I, I didn't know where it was. We mostly just kept an eye on their comings and goings, and maybe we can have Denny drive the townspeople up there while we board up his place. Yeah, let's uh, let's. Why don't we just pick some random town? Let's just pick some random town. Mayor, how about you drive them up? So you guys, uh, you guys, uh, I'm assuming everybody's kind of doing this while you guys are heading down towards Denny's. You guys are kind of talking, driving over there. Because it's not far. If you guys aren't driving, then it's not a far walk down the street. I was gonna drive the truck over so we can unload it. So, you guys drive down there. You're kind of having these conversations, going back and forth. The mayor, the constable, uh, head down (sighs) with you. Uh, The mayor is keeping. Uh, you notice uh, Goodman Gray talk to the driver that he had with him, and the driver hasn't left the mayor's side since. So you guys all, you, you get down to Denny's, you pull up in front in the truck, 
You see a bunch of people kind of milling around. Uh, you see Denny standing out uh, on the porch. He's like, uh, hey, fellas. Uh, what what the heck is going on here, guys? What am I hearing about? What, monsters? and, and What are these guys doing with you? What, what's going on, guys? I'm hearing a lot of bad things. These are our associates are going to help us kill the smoothies. The smoothies are coming. The smoothies are coming. They're, they're not our associates. We just had a... We were forced to make an alliance. So, I'm actually going to go... So, Alex, I'm going to grab a machete. And mm -hmm. I'm going to go chop up the uh, the baby the baby shark. And okay. And then I'm going to have a trail of blood going from the center of the town to Denny's. Wait, why are we leading them to us? Because we don't want them going to the children, women and children. I, why don't we leave them in the center of town and then the women have, and children? No, just the virgins. Yeah, perfect date. <laughs> I like where you're going with this drunk car. Perfect bait. Perfect. They're little. They can't run very fast. <laughs> so we leave the bait in the center of town, and then we have a flaming wall of death surround the smoothies as they come. No, but we're supposed to and hold them off. At, at we let them burn. Well, they they won't. <laughs> yeah, I do like Why having they the idea of having like some farm animals or something out in the middle. We have a gasoline circle all the way around animals. Once the okay, well, I'm gonna go. Start eating, I'm, gonna I'm gonna go light it all up. I'm gonna go chop up the body and have go chop a, up the body. I'm gonna have a trail of blood coming towards towards Denny's. So I feel like our time would be better them. spent boarding up Denny's. Do we even know if they're cannibals? Like, why not get a cow instead of chopping up our sweet Well, because we already have something there body. that has a bunch of blood in it. And I'm uh, assuming that's going to work. There was a butcher's shop just to the south of you, Simi. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go to the butcher's shop, get a whole cow, chop it up, and uh, have a trail of blood coming towards us. Yes, let's have the trail of blood lead directly to us. That's the idea. Right? So while this is all going on, I'm carrying all the gear out of the, from the truck into Denny's. Okay. Uh, so, so Doctor Doctor Simeon, I'm assuming you probably wanted to do that before everybody went back to Demi's, since you're already in the middle of yeah. town. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So you saw the butcher come out of the shop, and he's kind of standing there, and he was talking with Ishmael and and some of these other guys. So, uh, why don't you go? Why don't you roll me a, uh, a persuasion check with him? To see if you can kind of if you can talk him into your plan here. All right. Four out of uh, seventy. <laughs> hey, hey, Baker. Um, <laughs> Baker. Somebody peep on his dice. There's no way Donovan is this good at rolling. <laughs> he never rolls double yeah. digits. He's, is he only rolling one die? Zero, zero, four. <laughs> yes, he keeps the other one at like a zero. There's double digits right there, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. Hey, the keeper. You. You're the worst. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, have some respect. The lightning bolt comes out of the sky, <laughs> hits you, and you're <laughs> kid on the spot. Uh, okay, you go up and you uh, you give him the most persuasive argument he's ever heard in his life. Like, hey, do you life. want to kill a cow? And he runs. <laughs> uh, he runs inside. Uh, he grabs you, and you guys go running inside the butcher shop and start gathering up all the loose meats and sides of beef that are around in the butcher shop. So, uh, while Simeon is doing this, you guys uh, had that scene where you pulled up in front of Denny's and and had that conversation. So, or you know, he yelled out to you. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Let's unload the truck. Unload the truck. Get all the gear inside. Um. Okay. So, you guys start unloading everything, bringing it inside of Denny's. Uh, I'm assuming you relay all of the information to Ezra to inform him that his tavern has now become ground zero. And he was okay with that. Um, and... No persuasion needed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just like, he, uh, alright, well, if, if they're coming, we better we better get going, we better get started in here. Yeah, Denny's, we need to make this a grand slam, okay? <laughs> You want me to make you a grand slam? No, no, I mean, we... You're not even here, Simeon. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, this is Dom Junkar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we need a grand slam. Uh, okay, so you guys start uh, executing your plan. So who is doing... Um, I, I decided that, uh, or after I thought about it for a little bit, that... 
one of us has to go show somebody how to get into the tomb. Yeah. So I take the truck and I start going around and if I see like people starting to send the women and children out then I'm like, hey, get in the truck. We're going to head up. Yeah. And I, so that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to okay. try and gather all of them, um, take them up there and show them how to get in. Also, do we, do I, do I see Ike or does anybody see Ike as we're out doing our stuff? Like is you have not no you guys don't see Ike anywhere and actually kind of as 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 all this is happening so so Billy when you're doing that Ezra actually comes up to you and he's like hey hey uh, I'm gonna come with you for that all right I think it'll help if they they see a familiar face yeah I think you're right we'll get in the truck and we'll try and gather them get yeah, them in the back we can help you out we can pack we can pack a lot of people in there so Ezra goes with with Billy and he gives you guys free reign to uh, do what you need to do here in. Um, in Denny's. Okay, we unload all of our like weapons and stuff first uh, into Denny's. We uh, start handing them out to townspeople as they show up if they don't have any. Okay. So yeah, uh, uh, the people that are showing up, there are a few, you know, able-bodied men that show up and they they start helping you guys. What are you guys doing? So you you barricading, yeah, barricading windows, all the windows, uh, barricading doors. Um, we start with the ground floor and then we work our way up to the second floor. Do okay. we know if the dead light um, will go back in the box if it kills an animal? Oh, so we should tie us. We should have a squirrel under a box. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, you do, you do not know that. Well, what I'm thinking is, let's let's set up a number of booty traps, like booby on traps. the booby, booby traps. traps. That's what I said. I said booby traps. Booby traps. <laughs> From the town square over to Denny's, so that way we have like, you know, middle of the town square, bunch of meat and big fire. And then yeah, we flamethrower them in the middle of the town. Square. And then 20 feet closer to Denny's, you know, machine gun them as they floating car to Denny's. We got a so machine we, gun. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Oh, we've got a machine gun. <laughs> um, you, none of you guys actually know how to use a machine gun. Oh. Or a flamethrower, for that matter. Major knows how to use a machine gun. Yeah, <laughs> or a flamethrower. None of you guys have any machine gun or flamethrower skills. I'm gonna go so ahead. How much and... wick do we have? Oh, we've oh. got a big wick. I, I whip out my wick and I say, <laughs> way oh. more than average. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a lot of fuse for your cannon. Aloysius has a lot of uh, cannon fuse because he has a cannon for my cannon. Okay. All right, let's get a pile of meat in the center of town. Let's pour gasoline around it so we can flame them there. With and the then flame And Molotov. Let's get a car or something that's like 20 feet closer to Denny's. And let's get a bunch of fuse to light a big stick of dynamite. That way we can kill a whole bunch as they're coming towards Denny's. We're going to also want a sharpshooter. Who's the best rifle rifleman? Um, I got 35. I'm not Not great. me. I've got 75. I was thinking yeah, of maybe... I think it's Bakersfield. I think Bakersfield is your sharpshooter. Uh, you, should, you should be on top of the, the town hall or Get Denny's. up on the roof again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they, if they get close, then I'll say... I'll go like this. Call. <laughs> Call. <laughs> what are you, an infant? Well, gentlemen, I think we have a good plan here. I, w- I will... I'll be whatever you need me to be, and I am a bit of a capable fighter. As I said, I'm older than I look, and I have a bit of experience doing this. Okay, well, uh, we're going to have you, uh, you know, sharpshoot, tackle some of them. If you wouldn't mind, let's... We could draw the symbol on your head. That would be really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to take one for the team? Sounds like a bunch of superstitious nonsense. Perfect. It is, yeah, it works, though.
So, all right, so Billy McConnell, you are driving around town with Ezra, uh, picking people up, warning them. Uh, as you're driving around, uh, it's 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 getting later. This is taking a bit of time, you know, driving like trying to do this, trying to round up as many people as you can. Um, as you're driving around, you notice that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people panicking. There's a lot of people jumping in and climbing in to help uh, or climbing in with you guys, you know, women and children. Let's go get in the truck. Come on, come on. Uh, but there's a lot of just chaos going around. There's people running. There's windows being smashed. You hear kind of screams in the distance. And uh, uh, Denny looks over and he goes, ah, I was afraid of something like this. You know, it's... As soon as uh, it's just chaos breaking out, breaking out, out there. And it seems like as soon as uh, a little thin veneer of... of polite society breaks down and just all heck breaks loose you know what I mean people in this town it's almost like they're waiting for an opportunity for something like this is do you, do you have any ideas how to get anybody under control or is it just Cuckooville now it's just gonna be pandemonium you know I don't think the monsters are the only things we're gonna be worrying about so we better be careful okay keep an eye out for the crazies so you guys keep driving around. Uh, yeah, just chaos. You see people smashing windows, you know. Uh, you see some smoke starting to rise from various areas. People just kind of running around the streets. Uh, you guys, who's all back at Denny's? Who's fortifying Denny's? Uh, all the rest of us are. So, Dr. Simeon, you've kind of set up your yep. whole meat trail. I beefed up the town. The sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys are in Denny's. You guys are uh, uh, barricading the windows. You know, you found a lot of uh, two-by-fours, boards, nails, hammers. You guys are just, you know, beefing up the place. So to speak, um, you've had a few people come in. Uh, the rest of Goodman Gray's men have come in. He has uh, four men besides him left over that look like um, they look like they're a fair hand in violence. So they look like they could be. They might be pretty handy. A few other uh, able-bodied men have come in that looks like you know good uh, rustic folk that. You know, uh, definitely know their way around a firearm. Uh, you got the butcher is in there with you, uh, whose name you found out from, you know, talking to Daniel Ames. Ishmael and Martha Graves have both come in. Um, Abraham Harvey, he's the uh, the owner of the general store, who's uh, kind of a portly uh, dude in his, looks like his early 60s. Um, has a bit of a, an attitude. Um, uh, you guys are all working at it. Goodman Gray's in there, the constable, and the mayor's kind of off in the corner uh, with the driver still kind of standing around him. Goodman Gray and the, and the constable are walking around. They're talking and kind of overseeing a few things, talking with uh, Goodman Gray's men. So what are all of you guys doing? I wanted to plant bombs. Specifically, I guess. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah, do we have, do we have like... Um any of them like push detonators for um <laughs> uh no you don't have any uh push detonators that wasn't necessarily something you guys planned for controlled demolition we do have uh, a big like skunk gun that can shoot the dynamite sticks out at them a what you have a, a apparently you have a skunk gun <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the best description ever. What, for which war did you fight in? <laughs> yeah, Major Bakersfield. You sure, it's not a. It's, you sure, it's not a thump gun. A thump gun. It's a, nah, the only, it's a uh, gun. Yeah, it's a thump gun, guys. Major Bakersfield, your guys' only uh, military veteran, uh, looking for a skunk gun. <laughs> uh, Where do they keep their skunk gun? 
Um, do any of uh, Goodman <laughs> Gray's men have that flamethrower? Uh, yes, they do. They bring in the flamethrower and give it to you, Dom Drunkard. Yes! Drunk <laughs> as Dom Drunkard's eyes light up <laughs> as he finally gets his hands on a flamethrower. He steals someone's car and drives right back to Arkham. All right. with his uh, how do I use this thing? <laughs> with his treasure. Pushes the wrong button and immediately combusts on himself. Yeah. <laughs> He, he just starts spraying, like, gasoline all over the place. Uh, he throws the, uh, the tank on his back. <laughs> what the heck? That was me rolling, adding flamethrower to my weapons. What a douche. <laughs> Shut up, Donovan. How was, uh, Simeon? Um, so Tallahassee, how do you want to, how do you want to try and plant some explosives? I just figured out, you know, 20, 20 feet, 20 yards or whatever away from the ha uh, the tavern. I just didn't know if we had enough. Mm -hmm. um, what's the other word for wick? Uh, I believe that was a mortar, by the way. If you guys remember Billy's idea of gathering some vehicles around and running gasoline up to their gas tanks. Just to blow up the cars. Minor. So, spare fuse, fuse, is that what you're that's hoping what for, I, Seth? Yeah. yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't Billy's idea. I said that too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, so, quick side note. Yeah. During our downtime after Mr. Corbett, I uh, learned a spell from one of his journals that we took. Mm -hmm. It allows me to summon a beast and give it a command. So, I could have it fly me around while I shoot at smoothies or drop dynamite or something. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. What? No, it isn't. Uh, Tallahassee. Uh, there's enough spare few, depending on how far you wanted to set them out. How many yards did you say? Like 10, 15 yards? Yeah. You probably have enough. You could probably run two. Okay. Uh, why don't we give a couple to Bakersfield to drop from the beast? Oh my gosh, he's not riding the beast. He's gonna ride the beast. He can't even stay me? on top of a stationary roof. Fall in line, Drew Card. I won't be the only one falling. I'm the highest ranking officer here. He's dropping dynamite. He's not taking pictures. I won't be the only one falling if you get my meaning. Look, he's gonna jump on the beast. He's gonna grab his skunk gun. <laughs> and he's just gonna fly around and just skunk the crap out of these smoothies. <laughs> the skunkening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the crap can't come out of the smoothies. Yeah. He's going to scoop the heck out of them. All right, let's give all the dynamite to Bakersfield then. Maybe, maybe I'll keep one back. Would right. you rather I summon it just to fight them? We'd give the them a couple beast. Molotovs. I don't know. How tough is the is It's the pretty beast? tough. And how do we know it can big. even fly? Does it have wings? Because it flew to me when I summoned it. It can definitely fly. It's okay, got wings. How, what are its stats? It's how like strong a griffin. Is it? Can we send it against the smoothies? Could it take on multiple smoothies? How long does his spell take? Huh? How long? The spell, if, if, that's up to Tallahassee, or that's up to Bakersfield, how long he wants to take to get. What are its stats? Yeah, does it have stats? Yeah, it has stats, but I'm not giving you those. Uh, is it strong enough to <laughs> take again, I mean, to fight? I don't know if it's strong enough to fight 42 smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't... Uh, let, let's get this clear, guys. There's pretty much nothing that's strong enough to fight 42 smoothies. Uh, we're all gonna die. <laughs> but well, what about Tallahassee many... with diamond skin? Well, we don't know how many we so, killed either. That's Do we why need to figure that out? Everything you guys can possibly do right now. Fine, let stupid uh, Bakersfield fly upon the wings of the beast. I don't know why you have a problem with Bakersfield flying upon his monster and dropping his scoops. Sounds so stupid. You're, I think someone's <laughs> jealous. Why is that stupid? <laughs> just because you don't have a monster to fly around on. Yeah, just because you okay, don't have a monster. Okay, fine. To fly it's on. fine. But the idea of him flying upon the wings of the beast, <gasps> gripping it with his yeah. knees while shooting moving targets from a moving and target, and throwing dynamite, and well, shooting dynamite, dynamite at him from a skunk gun. Uh, how hey, <laughs> does Goodman Gray have more than one flamethrower? Because I could fly around and flamethrow at least freaking things. How effectively he's going to be able to to skunk from up there is very debatable. That was my problem. Dropping dynamite is pretty easy. Uh, him trying to fire his firearm from a flying target. That's, that's fair. But when he was like, I'm gonna shoot with an elephant gun. I could have it fly stationary. It doesn't have to be constantly moving. It can just hover like a helicopter. <laughs> it can happen. 
I could have it perch up on like a rooftop while I shoot, and then if the things get close, it can fly away. And I can just keep flying from rooftop to rooftop. Yeah, suck it! No, because you only get to give it one command. No, my command's gonna be fly me around all night and do everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Loophole. Sam just, uh. <laughs> give me a million wishes. Sam just broke the game. My first wish is a million. Say, stay with me. Stay with me. All night. <laughs> oh, how about this? Uh, we let loose the deadlight. I draw the symbol on the beast's forehead. <laughs> hmm? We let the deadlight wreak havoc on the smoothies and have it kill my beast. Does the deadlight wreak havoc if there's a symbol on somebody's forehead? Well, or does we it just go after finish that the ritual? Person. We just keep the symbol on its forehead ready to go, locked and loaded. And then you do then the chant. Yeah, then we do the chant after the deadlight's done pillaging. You better have the, the thing close to the ground. Why? The deadlight can fly. Because when it dies, you're going to fall off of it. Well, I won't write it. Um, that's what I'm saying. Fine. We just summon yeah. it to have the deadlight kill it. Um, that's our sacrifice. Not a bad idea. Well, what about we just get Ike? Yeah, because that's a way better idea. Just di go, go diamond skin him. So, yeah, it is. This is taking a. This, this is gonna take. You guys are gonna be kind of going down to the wire to get all this done in time to get everything barricaded to get all your stuff set up. You guys pulled out a few. Got a few vehicles. There's not a lot in this town, but you're able to get a few pulled out uh, around to the front of Denny's to give you a little bit of a barrier set up there. Um. Setting up a few booty traps. Booby booby traps. traps. Booby, booby traps. traps. That's what I said, booby traps. Um, and so is there anything in Denny's that you guys want to do before we... Whatever, I th whatever we do, I think we need to stay in star formation. Flying V. Flying V. <laughs> You'll be up on a beast. Yeah, and I'm going to be flying V with that thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Have we, like, done all the stuff? Are we ready to go? Um, uh, so it is, we are, it's, it's getting pretty close to dusk here, um, as, and it's a little bit of a drive out to the, out to the cemetery too, you know, it takes a few minutes to get up there. So you guys are now finally heading your way up to the cemetery as you've gathered as many people as you could fit into the truck. And actually over this time, you guys have made a couple trips up there. You know, you've you've packed up as many people as you could, driven up. You guys are making what you think might be your last trip that you're going to be able to make before nightfall because it's 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 about dusk right now and the sun is getting close to going down. Um. So, is there anybody else you guys want to try and gather up to bring here or talk to or warn before this before you hole up for the night? What about that chick you uh, were digging on? Can't stand you bits. I would never dig on a chick. I'm a married man. Mary Beth Beth. He's a married man. However, Hannah should be up at the tomb with her kid. Or not Hannah. What's her name? Um, Sexy lady in the bar. As you're driving up and you open up the tomb. Hannah was her friend. Uh, are you looking for her up there? Her uh, name was Delilah. Delilah, Delilah should be I mean, up there I, at the tomb. Is she up the, at the tomb? Did you guys pick her up? Did I notice her when we were picking up peeps? Yeah, she's the hot one. You, no. Actually, you did not. I didn't think to look for her, so I'm just grabbing whoever's gonna, whoever's willing to go. Um, Major Bakersfield. Yeah. It's starting to get late, and... Uh, all the farms on the outskirts of town were destroyed. Are you forgetting about anybody? Oh, Grant. I call him on the two-way radio. I say, Grant, drive up to Arkham. Get out of here. So, Bakersfield, as you're getting ready to cast your ritual to summon your creature, you remember suddenly your friend Grant Jameson holed up in a cabin that was just north of the campsite that was attacked just a few nights before. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he is dead. He's gone. Um, hmm. He got smoothie. How far away is it? It's about an hour. Yeah, we're it's a two gone. hour round trip. He gone. How, how, how far is it? Is that a radio? 
How far is it by flight? Yeah. As the crow flies. As the crow flies. It would be quite a bit faster, but you would have to cast your spell, and then if you flew out there... Uh, but why would we get him anyways? He's his old war um, buddy. Why would you go to get him? There might not be a lot of practical reasons, but... Major Aloysius Bakersfield, Grant Jameson is one of your closest friends. There's that. Uh, he's reliable, as reliable as old reliable. Um, he could come um, come back, help us fight. Also, I'd be getting him kind of out of harm's way by bringing him back into harm. Okay, what time is it? <laughs> the further we are from safety, the closer. Wait, like, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, okay, well, it's already getting dark, right? Yeah, it would take. It's it's getting probably there. take at least yeah. an hour out of my time, at least, to fly out there, pick him up, and bring him back. Okay, that's one. That's 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 the order. Can he can he have more than one command for for uh, Slotty Bot Fost? Um, eh, not really. It depends on what kind of command you give it, on how long it's going to stay. Okay, so well, here's the deal, uh, Bakersfield. Um, so yeah, you have a limited amount of use. I would allow, if you wanted to ride it around uh, and have it fly you around for a little while while you threw dynamite, I was going to allow that as a thing. Okay, is there... Um, it just depends on how you want to use this. You can cast a spell, you could use it to fly out to Jameson. Um, but once you got there, it would probably leave while you went in to go get Jameson and get out. So you'd both die. The other alternative is driving up there. All right, I'll drive up and get him. We probably won't come back, but... Well, you could drive up there and then cast the spell and then fly back, and then you can do your thing. Why can't you just give it the command to bring Jameson? Um... Would Jameson be sane by the time we got back with a big scary monster carrying him? Uh, yeah, if a big scary monster just showed up at his door. Come with me. <laughs> You're coming with me. Um, but Sam, Sam, I'm not talking to Sam. I'm talking to Bakersfield. What would Bakersfield do? Don't waste your time. Bakersfield, what would you do? Bakersfield recognizes that he is an NPC that will die at some point anyway. <laughs> Bakersfield, as you're thinking this over, I want you to also think about what you have in your pocket. The whistle. I got the whistle. Right now. What the f- fudge is the whistle? Not just the whistle. What are your what are your treasured possessions that you keep with you at all times? Oh yeah, I've got my letters of fallen comrades, which is one of the things that drives you most is returning these letters to their loved ones of the men that you have lost along the way. The men under your command have been the closest relationships in your life. And you had a commitment when you left the war that any man you lost, you would get in touch with their loved one and you would return these letters to them. All right, I think I might drive up there. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll borrow Percy's car. I guess we're- And then I'll fly back with him and wreak havoc from the sky. So, Bakersfield, I will allow you to have made this realization around 7 to 7.30 p.m. It gets dark at 8. We're all going to be dead when it gets back. We will be an hour into battle. you got to remember, they like to come out after dark, and they're two hours away. You don't know that. So, Bakersfield, as a psychologist, uh, your buddy's screwed no matter what. Bringing them here, we're going to be giving another letter to their loved ones. Keeping him there, he's probably already dead. Can't stand your bits. I wouldn't expect you to know anything about this. But on the 51st Airborne, we never left a man behind. Why do you have so many letters then? <laughs> <laughs> we never left a living man behind. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I punch him in the nuts. Joke's on you, I'm a smoothie. (laughs) (laughs) I'm one of them. Alright, 7.30 hits. I come to the realization that my best friend Grant Jameson is only an hour away. Uh, Fly, you fool. I need to go to him and uh, bring him back. Are you... you 
Are you expressing this to the people around you? Are you saying this in character? Everyone, focus on fortifying this building. Do everything you can uh, to barricade the building. Keep the monsters off until I return. On on the fifth day, look to the north. <laughs> <laughs> on the light of the... <laughs> <laughs> the light of the third morning. Whatever it was. Uh, there's something I gotta take care of, but I'll be back. Don't worry. How can you leave us right before the smoothies come? Well, you know when Aragorn left to go into the dim wall road. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Dan. I'm going to hit you. Stop referencing books that haven't been written yet. <laughs> <laughs> so the the time you're looking at here, Sam, it depends on what you want to use to cast your spell. But if if you it's 50 minutes about if you're using all your magic points to cast your spell, so it could be an hour up there and an hour back. So casting your spell would take about the same amount of time to drive back. Okay, so here's what you do: you drive up. And then you make Jameson drive back while you cast the spell while he's driving. And then when you get back, the creature appears, flies you around, and you drop dynamite on the heads that they don't have. Assuming Jameson isn't already dead. Yeah, then we're screwed. Why would he be dead? Because they're all over the place. Oh, cast it while you drive. I could do the chant while I'm driving. Good thinking, McConnell. Um, all right, so Aloysius Bakersfield, he uh, he lets you, he informs you guys that he has to go up and get his friend. There's something I've got to do. So he tells he tells you, drunk card, can't stand your bits, uh, Tallahassee. While you guys are making your plans here, uh, Percy. All right, well, uh, this is a terrible idea, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, okay, Mister sits it out. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you don't want to come with me? I'm sure this time. I find him in the trunk well, when I get there. Well, maybe if you're leaving, maybe you should leave the dynamite here. Yeah. Are you going to make it back in time, or will we need it? We'll need it. Because then your your command could be, go kill all the smoothies. How much dynamite does Jameson have? Roll a, roll a d6. <laughs> all right, I'll leave three of them with you guys, and I'll take two. Seems fair. All right, so what are you doing? All right, uh, I'm. Uh, I tell Percy, "Hey, I'm taking your car. I'll be back." Wait, what? You heard me. <laughs> All right, you whip the you whip the car around and you peel out and start heading off on the road as quick as you can. You guys have mixed feelings as you see Bakersfield leave, one of your best fighters, as he leaves to go off and hopefully get there in time to help his friend. And Bakersfield, you speed off out out the north side of town as you are looking over your shoulder and uh, you feeling unease and tension as you see the sun sinking lower and lower towards the horizon. Okay, Billy McConnell, you and Ezra arrive back up at the graveyard. Um, unloading the truck, you have the, uh, the tomb door propped open. Um, uh, you're, you're hurting the last of the people down in. There's a, a, quite a commotion coming from downstairs. Uh, you did your best to uh, move the uh, dismembered and desiccated bodies that were down at the bottom before any of the children got there and saw them (laughs) um yeah everybody's crammed down there pretty tight there's quite a few people that you've gathered in and brought down here uh you're talking to ezra you're looking around and um uh, you mentioned ezra ezra about delilah and when he's when you say that he gets a, a panicked look on his face if you remember he was talking to them back in the in the tavern and he knows that and so you're looking around and uh, after a few minutes, looking through all the faces and asking people around, Ezra comes back to you and he says, "He says, Billy, I don't, I don't see him anywhere. Billy, I don't know what happened. I don't know how we missed him. I don't know how they didn't get up here. But then they're not here. Where do, where do they live? Are they near the center of town? Are they? Uh, they're, 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 they're running out of time. Yeah, I know, I know we are, but we can't just leave them out there. We, we you know, I mean, we got, we got to find them. They're, they're, they're good people." 
All right, well, maybe if we hurry. Ishmael, Ishmael, are you here? <laughs> He's back at Denny's. He's at Denny's? Martha, how about you? You around? Yes, I I'm here. Can you take charge of all these people, organize them? Yeah, I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I can hold things down here. Okay. And you do what you need to do. Don't come out until it's daylight. These things don't come out in the daylight, so if, do not open this door until daylight. You, I saw what was back there in the, in the town square. I don't, want, I don't want any of those things coming down here with all these kids. Yeah, all right. So you, you guys take care. You get out there and you do what you need to do. We'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll hold it down here. I'll, I'll lock the door as soon as you leave and, and we'll, we'll post some watches and we'll, we'll try our best to keep quiet. Okay. Okay, so to head back to the truck as quick as we can. All right, Danny, where are we, where are we going? Tell me where to go. So Yeah, they're down, they're down by the shofar. You remember where that is? Yeah, yeah, the the newspaper uh, place. I uh, I just thought, is there any gasoline at your place? I uh, I don't got any. Not not back then. Well, maybe there's some in the back of the truck. All right, let's go. All right. You swing around the last corner on this on the southwest edge of town, um, and Ezra points towards a small, rundown little, uh, what looks like a, a, a modest little house on the south side of town. It's rundown and ramshackle, like pretty much all the buildings in this town. Uh, you feel a little pain of uh, of sadness, thinking that Delilah is here by herself with her small son, trying to raise them in this in this crappy little town and this crappy little shack. Ezra points at that, points at it, and he says, that's it, right there. That's it, stop, stop, Billy, stop. Pull up in front, honking the horn. All right, Billy, you slam on the brakes. Um, as you guys were driving through town, it is just chaos. As soon as the sun went down, it is just chaos everywhere. You're seeing smoke and fires from various places throughout town. You've seen buildings burning. You've just seen people running in the streets and fights. Uh, You've heard gunshots. Um, you've seen people running out of houses with, with, uh, with items and and trinkets. So it is just pandemonium in this town. So when I pulled up, I honk in the horn. I'm, I'm worried. So as Danny, Danny, he jumped out, right? Yeah, Danny jumps out with you. Okay, well I jump out too. I get, I'm getting my gun out because I'm just ready for anything. Okay. As you guys run up to the front door of the house, you honk the horn, you're looking, you don't see any lights on inside as you come up and you see that a window is broken and the door is open. Okay, I uh, start calling out. Lila, you in there? And her son's name is uh, Zachary. Zachary, you guys in there? You in, you in the house, you cleared out? Kick the door open. Hey, hey Delilah, it's me, it's, it's Ezra, are, are you okay? You all right in there? Where's, where's, where's Zachary? You guys okay? So you kick the door open, it swings open. It looks like this has already been kicked open once as the uh, the door jam, the frame has been smashed open a little bit. The door, as the door frame, the door jam and the frame has been smashed from obviously somebody else breaking in the door. As you, as it swings open, you see the house is in disarray, they're shattered glass, there's shattered cookware plates and bowls um, it either looks like this place has been looted or that there was some sort of altercation that has gone on inside here okay, as I get close to walking in uh, Denny, you got a gun? no, I, I do, got, do you have an extra gun? yeah, I got an extra 38 revolver here oh, you go okay. All right. Th thanks. Uh, I'll he cover my back follow my lead yeah we're gonna check each room uh where's a bedroom do you know no i we didn't have that kind of relationship i mean you know when we when we mentioned uh you kind of look like maybe you did she's easy on the eyes all right yeah it's true look all, all right. right yeah she's she's a great girl okay yeah i'm i'm, I'm worried sick about it Let, let's we, we gotta find her all right let's find her let's go 
Yeah, you guys go in. There's a kitchen just off of this kind of main room. Everything's it's it's small. The main living room is a small area. There's a small kitchen attached to it uh, with a little dining area. Yeah, and there's a bedroom on the back left of the house and another bedroom on the back right. They're both pretty small. Yeah, doors open. Yes. Both of them. Yes. Okay. Can we tell as we get closer? If one looks like a kid's room, one looks like... Yeah, the one on the back left looks like it's a kid's room. It's a pretty tiny, like... In the city, you would have barely called this more than a walk-in closet with a small bed in the corner that you can just see through the window or through the doorway, the open door. And the other bedroom uh, looks like it, that must is most likely uh, Delilah's room. Okay, walking closer to that, uh, but I'm, like, looking for any signs of anybody might still be there and I'm listening okay yeah. well I'll roll a spot hidden and as roll well listen. as I can yeah okay spot hidden uh 46 success my spot hidden is 83 okay my patented roll on the floor <laughs> <laughs> true to form and I rolled a 41 on listen uh listen skill is 79 okay uh dang why does Billy McConnell have such high everything? <laughs> well, all of my investigator things. Yeah, it's uh, your investigation high. stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you're listening. You don't you you don't hear anything inside the house. You're hearing all the chaos outside. A little bit in the distance. There's not a lot. There's there's not a the, not that much down here on this edge of town. And you're looking around. You you get back to the doorway. You you stack up against next uh, on the wall just outside. You peek your head in around the edge, looking down. You don't see anybody in there. The bed is in disarray. Uh, drawers have been pulled out of the dresser. And uh, looking around, you do manage to spot uh, a few spots of blood on the floor, uh, just inside the doorway to the bedroom. Just inside the doorway. Yeah. Uh, just f- from my poking my head in? Yeah. And did it look like they were going in any specific direction? No. It's just a, a, few, a few spots. Yeah, a few spots on the floor there. There's no, this isn't a two floor. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Enter quick. Check all the corners. Okay. Check under the bed. Yeah. Uh, you come in, you check the corners, you're looking around, you don't see anybody in the room. Um, again, it, it's all in disarray, which you're not too if, sure if that's from looting or the spot of blood on the floor, though it does seem to show that there was some kind of altercation here in this room. Though, whether that was from Delilah or other people fighting while they're in here, you don't know. Okay. Uh, She's not here. Let, let's check uh, Zachary's oh, room real man. quick. All right. Just a quick... In and out, and if she's not here, we gotta go. Yeah. Oh, while you were saying that, he was already running back there, and he uh, he peeks his head in. He's like, "No, they're not in here. He's not here. I don't see him." All right. I don't know. We can't spend time looking all over town. So hopefully, she got somewhere safe. Hopefully, maybe she's at uh, your place. So let's let's head over there. Yeah, you gotta hope so. All right. So you guys head back out front. Um, uh, I want you to once you guys step outside, you see. Uh, it looks as if the uh, the newspaper shop uh, just two doors down is on fire. Um, I want you to roll another listen check. Listen. Uh, 37. That's uh, yeah, that's a hard. Okay. So as you step out and you you're looking around, you glance over, you see the uh, the the shofar. Uh, it appears to be burning on the inside there's smoke rising out through the windows um and you hear uh somebody groaning um over in the direction of the shofar and when you hear that you look over and you see somebody lying uh prone in the street out front uh yeah i'm gonna head over and check on him does it look like it's (gasps) jacob allister does look like it's jacob allister Alistair, you all right, man? I walk over and help him up, or yeah, try he's, and revive uh, him. And uh, he's he's hurt. He's he looks like he's been shot. Oh, dang! Um, uh, there's blood. There's blood all over the ground and the dirt below him. It's making a a, a muddy mass of 
of this reddish mud that's caking around. But you step into it as you go over and you pick him up. He groans and you see, oh, no. once you lift him up and you kind of roll him over, you see his shirt is covered in blood. Jacob, Jacob, what happened? So, the, this, Ike, Ike Watson, he burnt my place, he, he, he shot me, he had a, he had Delilah and a, and a boy, he's dragging him away. Did you see which way they went? They went down, down east. Yeah, east, east inside of town. I think down towards where he lives. Down in this, this, this shack, this slums area. I, I was trying to stop him, but he, he shot me. All right, all right, that's okay. Just relax, we'll get you in the truck and we'll get you back. Hey, Jacob, now you're gonna, you're gonna be all right, buddy. It's all right, you, you did good, man. Oh, what about my my shop? We gotta, we gotta save my, my shop. That's all I got. The press, you know, someone's gotta tell the truth around here. So it's gotta be a voice of reason in this crazy place. That's what I was trying to do, you know? That's what my job was. First you gotta survive, then you can rebuild. But we gotta get you safe. Uh, you say that, and after the words leave your mouth, you realize that it's too late. Uh, those words are the last words that Jacob Allister ever is ever going to speak. His last breath leaves his mouth, and he dies there in front of you. It's a shame. Closes his eyes. He looks down, he's... Oh, Watson. Son of a... Look, we... I know where he lives. You know, the, the, over in the, the, the crappy side of town. The crappy side of this crappy, stupid town. You know where Mordecai lives? Over in that, sh that shabby area? The shanty town with all the shacks? He's down over that way. Alright, look. By my calculations, you know, the sun goes down. It's already down. The sun's down, the monsters are on their way. They got a, a ways to go, but they can move quick, so... We just... We got like ten minutes. We gotta hurry, Denny. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's head over there, get in the truck. All right, you guys hop in the truck, you fire it up, you start heading at ease, you drive around uh, the body of poor Jacob Allister as he lies in front of his burning shop. As you head east into town, as it gets darker and you start to see the stars come up overhead, um, though not as bright as you would have hoped due to all the fires around town and the smoke that is now starting to obscure much of your vision as you drive through this town. You hear more screaming, you hear more gunshots, and you look around and this place has just become pandemonium. And you feel that you might right now be witnessing the fall of New Jerusalem. Denny. Yeah. If there's no other choice, we put him down and we get Delilah and her boy, we get out of there. Yeah, I got no, I got no problems with that. Uh, you see him, he, t he picks up the 38 revolver that you hand him, and he flips out the cylinder, spins it, checks it, flips it back, locks it in place, and he goes, you know, Billy, I wasn't always an innkeeper. Hey everyone, this is Sam. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Arkham Files. If you like what you heard, please leave us a five-star review, share the show with your friends, and check us out on patreon.com forward slash The Arkham Files where you can sign up to get some cool bonuses and support your favorite show. Thanks again for being an Arkham Files listener.